Hey guys, it's me, and uh, the first thing I want to say is that it's really cold outside in Austin right now, which is why I have this on. It's pretty cool. So you should like this video strictly based off the fact that this is a cool jacket. But anyway, um, I actually just got back in from a night out, and I had a fun, I, I've had a fun night. I was basically out of my room the entire afternoon and evening. It's about 108 in the morning right now. And yeah, I actually just got back in. And yes, there actually is a point to this video and it is about my stuttering. So do not think it's pointless. So basically, I met up with a few friends for lunch. And after lunch, we went back to one of my friend's houses. And we really didn't have anything we were scheduled to do. Excuse me, that's my phone. Let me put that on vibrate. I apologize, guys. So yeah, uh, I know for a fact we were going to watch the game of heaven of the Cardinals and the Rangers. By the way, Texas Rangers, SMH. I mean, I don't really watch baseball or anything but I know it's pretty disappointing knowing you could have won it all last night but that's a whole different story so yeah uh, we were just hanging out and it was pretty chill and then one of my friends brought over two girls and one of them I had met before so that was whatever but the other girl was a complete stranger and the friend I hung out with, I mean, he knows I stutter, obviously, so he's nice enough to come, well, I don't know if that's being nice, but he, whenever we meet new people, he introduces me to them for me, and I mean, that's nice on me, just because it's easier, just because I do tend to stutter on my name a lot, so that was cool, and we were just, so again, we were all just hanging out still, it was about five of us. And then we decided we wanted to go eat. So we went to this little Mexican restaurant about a couple streets up from where we were at. And it turns out they invited another friend to come meet with us. And again, this was a guy I had never known in my life. So I remember we were just waiting for our name to be called. He walks in and I was the closest one to the entrance. So he extends his hand out, and he introduces himself as Rick. And for those of you that stutter, you do probably know what I'm talking about, that when we have to introduce ourselves, it can be pretty nerve-wracking, and it's probably one of the hardest things that I struggle with in terms of being a stutterer. So I stuck out my hand, and I told him my name. And sure enough, I stuttered on it. He kind of laughed. Not like a laugh as in he was making fun of me. But he laughed a bit. And that was it. And, you know, I thought to myself right after it happened that, yeah, that was kind of embarrassing and all. But honestly, it didn't affect me as much as I thought it would. In fact, a couple months ago, if that happened, I would have let it ruin my whole night, to be honest, because like, it's kind of embarrassing, you know, just, I would have probably been hesitant to speak up at all the rest of the night, and I would have probably had a lousy time, but this time, when we went to finally go eat and sit down and stuff, I was very talkative, and I just felt really confident for some reason, and it's kind of strange, just because, like, I just came from this situation where I stuttered my head off and I I still felt I had all this confidence and I was very talkative, I made people laugh, I had a fun night and I just felt for once that I was normal and don't get me wrong, like, and I'm with my friends, I'm, I feel normal just because they all know I stutter so if I do stutter it's not even an issue but here I am eating with about six people completely and two strangers and 
And knowing me three months ago, this is probably a situation I would have been scared of that I would have probably avoided, but I feel awesome. Just the fact that I'm still a stutterer, but the fact that what those two strangers, or well, now they're my friends. Um, so what those two people got out of the night for me was that I was nice, I was friendly, I made them laugh, and I was a pretty cool guy. And that definitely overtakes the fact that I'm a stutterer. And it's just amazing. And I think this whole thing is just a testimony to how good, or to how, yeah, to how effective speech therapy has helped me out. And it's only been less than a month. And I'm not even talking about the whole making me fluent. It's even just helped me just be more accepting of the fact that I'm a stutter and not letting it affect me in these situations. And I just feel happy, guys. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. It just felt nice. Like, I don't know. I just had a fun night. And I really hope situations like these continue to just improve and just continue to feel natural. So, I guess, for those of you that do stutter, um, let me know down in the description if you've had a situation like this. It that doesn't have to be a good one, like what happened to me. Like, do you guys avoid situations where you have to meet new people? Or if you, if you are in those situations, how do they feel, or how do you feel about your stuttering, just let me know anything you guys have in response, because I would be interested in hearing it. So yeah guys, for now, I'm out. Peace.